Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to tell you about what it is you most definitely cannot do in interior designing. Today will be anti-trends. In the previous video, my colleague, friend and comrade Pavel told you about what's trending. Today will be the opposite. But of course guys, write in the comments whether you agree or disagree with us. Let's go! Which tile is going out of style? Firstly, this tile is called hog tile, though there's a life hack. On the other hand, this tile is gaining popularity. It's simple, minimalistic tile of varied colors, which are laid vertically rather than horizontally. One interpretation for the same hog type, for something similar, they are rather oblong material, similar to bricks, only in another style. From the perspective of exploitation, if you'd like, you can just lay up tile on the apron deck of your kitchen. Of course, this is comical, and many really enjoy it. However, it's already an anti-trend now, as it's overused. Exactly the same with all-purpose decorative panels. For example, boats, flowers, various stripes, inserts, and yes, all these things are long considered crap. Well, you can basically notice general trends in design and where they're going. All of the Scandinavian interiors are fading from favor. I mean to say, Scandinavian interiors in the typical sense of the word. Yes, meaning where to utilize this young hog tile and wooden countertops, especially in combination with a white kitchen which uses framed facades. You see, standard IKEA framed facades such as these, and perhaps their frames are glazed as well. Facades like these are also going out of style. In general, principally speaking, yes, the Scandinavian style is gradually fading out and becoming less popular. But don't worry, they're continuing to make Scandinavian interiors. This is because the Scandinavian design is very interesting and rather simple. The larger, intrinsic idea here is that the interior should be functional as well as useful. These interiors are also light. You can merely do Scandinavian interiors a tad more minimalistic. Yeah, while still adding a few cozy items, fabrics and pillows in this style interior. And as I mentioned, we have a loft that fades into the background. And you know, all these are our favorite glass loft partitions that are separated with black slats. These partitions right here are going out of style. Though this doesn't mean that you can't use any of these partitions to somehow divide your space. Of course, you still can. There are the wonderful partitions from Rimadesio, and the wonderful partitions which, as you see, are analogous of Rimadesio, meaning rack gear, these kinds of constructions that are on these partitions. Next, you can use not only transparent glass, but also glass, for example, with a metallic mesh. Or there's a kind of colored glass that is perforated, if you can imagine. Yeah, that would make for a very interesting design. These sofas, they're just in every apartment. Yeah, meaning, if you enter one of these, someone went and got the yellow sofa. Apparently, someone wanted a shining sun, some kind of bright object. This in turn led to why you see our country's apartments overflowing with an abundance of yellow sofas. Thus, guys, if you head to the store and see a yellow sofa, you've got a choice. Take the yellow or gray one. Take the gray sofa. Nowadays, it's not very good to have a sofa be the same color as the armchair. When both the sofa and armchair share the same color, yeah, it just doesn't look so pretty. Therefore, this is one more anti-trend. If you're getting ready to set up a cool sofa grouping, for example, you need to have the sofa and armchair be different colors. All you need to do is change the color. The fabrics can stay the same, but the colors must be different. And it's better if you change the texture of the fabric of the chair itself. These sort of black frames, yeah, meaning a large number of various posters, black and white photos, especially over sofa groups or in a corridor or hallway. Once being super duper popular, it's now, of course, starting to fade from style. The Eames chair. It's really good high quality design and greatly liked by all. Just as this chair started being used in a large number of interiors, Chinese manufacturers began copying it. So the cost of the chair began to hover around $20 to $30 a piece, just about. Therefore, it started being inserted into a lot of interiors. And with the classy, modern, simple Scandinavian minimalistic design, 
The chair has penetrated the mass market, something cheap that they put in rented apartments and that's placed in various public areas which all became overused. Thus, the Eames chair shouldn't be used now, unless you want to hamper the visual worth of your interior. Remember our favorite graphic clock, with its bars like this in a circle? It's the same thing. The logic is quite simple. Often people, designers, people who live in apartments, they use this clock, and they've gotten used to it. It's begun quite the anti-trend. Guys, let me remind you that it's already way past its fashion mark by 5 or 10 years, and isn't even worth doing. Firstly, these are the wavy suspended ceilings out of the 90s, glossy ceilings that reflect a crag overhead in your room. Of course, it increases the volume, but it's really considered extremely bad form in the sphere of interior design. The bed, the dresser, the table, wardrobe, armchair, all done in the same style. This furniture is sold often in stores, but unfortunately, it's also crap, and outdated crap at that. Therefore, it's also not worth doing. We're now no longer making skirting boards in laminate or parquet. We're doing them the color of the wall, or as if there were no baseboard at all. For example, we're building a hidden baseboard, or opposingly, we bring out the plinth with color to separate it. Guys, we've tried pretty hard and assembled a lot of material. Please reward our efforts with a like, a subscription to our channel, and some comments. This is something that's fairly popular with us, but will be less so in the future. The moss we've used in interiors is something green, and yeah, it can still be used. This isn't signaling for it to be removed right away from interiors if you're now finishing some renovations. Due to its popularity, a large number of interiors started being done up in white marble. And of course, yeah, in order for it to not be so white, they began adding a cozy, light wood to it, or even any different colored wood. This trend here, it's also a trend that's in decline nowadays. That means, if you're currently designing an interior on your own, then for example, replace white marble with marble of another color, or light marble with some veins, or at the very least, just remove the wood. About the top cupboards being divided into several levels. This was also fairly popular in various interiors and ended up overused. Nowadays, you can go into almost any kitchen and see a kitchen that has a different level facade and a U-shaped portal. You can continue doing this, there's nothing harmful in this at all. But try, perhaps, to highlight facades that are in the back, in order for the kitchen to not be counted so much. While we're on the topic of kitchens, nowadays there's a general trend to do these sorts of kitchens, that are kitchens, but also not. For example, when you're closing doors, the kitchen ends up completely hidden. And when you need to cook something, unveil the space and you have a fully stocked kitchen there. These days, designers are constantly putting it in their interiors. Therefore, after a bit of time, yet yeah, the trend will back off, more specifically on the black elements in the plumbing. What can you replace it with? For starters, don't use black plumbing, but white plumbing instead, or leave the historic classic chrome as it is. Or maybe play with the colors and do, as an idea, a blue mixer. They've started painting mixers in various colors and practically choose a color according to the RAL palette. Otherwise, there are a huge number of colors to go with. Therefore, don't just use black, but try white, for example, or something wholly different. Thus, we can come away with this conclusion. You shouldn't chase after a fashion, you should do what you're into. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Be sure to write us in the comments about anti-trends that you think won't be popular any longer in 2021. I might not have mentioned something, forgot something, or kept something from you. Write in the comments like this and see you in the next episode. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel since we're filming useful content and you might miss something interesting.